Man, today must be my lucky day. Found a SNES Classic today at GameStop. The only one they had. Suppose they're getting them in like a couple a day, every day, during the weeks. And a few minutes ago, I was lucky to win a pair of tickets to WrestleMania 34 in New Orleans. So, it's been a pretty eventful day. But anyway, let's take a look at the SNES Classic. Let's see if I can get it out of the box here. So there's all the games that are on it. I'm sure everybody's already seen everybody else's unboxing videos, but I figured what the hey, I finally found one. Since I refuse to pay scalper prices. Here locally there are two of them on Craigslist. One guy wants $200 and another guy wants $250 for his. And they can keep them. So what we got on here? We have Mario RPG, uh, Mario World, Contra 3, uh, Zelda, Link to the Past, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Yoshi's Island, Super Metroid. Actually, I own most of these games. Now, some of the big expensive games like uh, Earthbound I don't have, Secret of Mana I don't have, uh, Mega Man X I don't have, but most of the rest of these I have. But I buy these as collectibles. I have the NES Classic as well. And that was just luck that I managed to get one that morning when they first come out. So let's see what's in the box without damaging the box. Uh, now you're playing with superpowers. So I've so probably got a big poster. And some instructions that nobody needs. Let's see, that's our uh, USB power connector. Just a USB connection, phone charger. The uh, controllers. They actually put about what five feet of cord on them this time. Ah, oh, feels good. Feels just like a brand new SNES controller. Feels real good. With the good D-pad. All the knockoff controllers that cannot make a D-pad like Nintendo. I don't know what it is. Like the USB uh, cheapy ones you can buy to run on emulators and stuff, they're just awful. Very cool. This would be the other one if you get two, unlike the uh, NES Classic. HDMI cable and our USB cable to power it with. And here's the main attraction. It's so tiny. Oh, ain't it cute? It's a little bitty Super Nintendo. The Super Famicom actually looked better than this did. I don't know why Nintendo chose this design for here in America, but they did. Power switch works. And you reset switch, and then I think the controllers are hidden, hidden under here. I really don't think that right there is going to hold up long with a lot of use. Of course, it uses the Wii style connector. And the E Jet doesn't work. But uh, yeah, very cool. 80 bucks. Some of the games that are, I mean, it's emulation, of course. But uh, some of the games on here cost. You can buy two of these for what the game cost. I mean, like Earthbound is super expensive, especially if you get the big box version. Which is weird because I remember Earthbound being on the discount racks towards the end of the Super Nintendo era. Let's 
So, I figured I'd do this little short video. A little unboxing now, I'll hook it up and check it out. Plenty of those videos out there if y'all want to see what the is on and how it looks and how the emulation is. Looking forward to playing Star Fox 2. Alright, catch you guys in the next one.